This is Femi Kuti, and you are listening to NYC Radio Live. Hey folks, how you doing? Thanks for tuning in to NYC Radio Live. David Ellenbogen here. Really wonderful to be with you. Um, I appreciate all the options out there in the world uh, that you're listening to this. And you will not be left down. This is an incredible performance from the Ragas Live Festival 2017 at the Rubin Museum of Art as broadcast on WKCR and um, we're getting excited because we finally have a date October 6th at Pioneer Works October 6th Pioneer Works Rog is Live Festival 2018 it's going to be unbelievable Pioneer Works is one of my uh, favorite places in the world to see music and enjoy 25,000 square foot um, former machine factory the beautiful outdoor space and, um, yeah kind of manicured hills and trees it, it's really special and um, we'll be back I'm sure all these musicians will be back on there but maybe not in this format this was a group uh conceived of for the 2017 festival. It's with Max ZT and Hammer Dulcimer and Jay Gandhi on Bansuri and Aaron Hansen on Tabla. And they, uh, the, uh, the project is called Recalling the Valley and that is a reference to the album Call of the Valley which was I think the biggest selling kind of Indian classical record of all time and it featured Jay Gandhi's guru Hari Prasad Chirazia and um, Maxi T's guru the great um, Maxi T's guru the great Shiv Kumar Sharma so um Yeah, it's a really special, uh, special project. And uh, as a little bonus, uh, those of you who tuned into the radio broadcast knew that we spoke, we had interviews with the musicians, and um, thanks to uh, Humanities New York, we were able to sponsor uh, this festival and, 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 and also to have this meaningful dialogue about what it means to create art when you're away from the area of its origins so uh, after the after the uh, unbelievable concert you're gonna love this um, our, uh, our good friend Andrew Shantz uh, will have a discussion with with Aaron and Jay and Max about about that topic and more so we'll get to hear their voices anyway um Thanks to WKCR, Ruben Museum, Humanities New York, and you. Enjoy this uh, incredible performance. And see you October 6th. All right, peace. Peace. Thank you very much. Um, we're going to start with a piece uh, in Rag Kirwani, which is uh, our gurus did this uh, in a later iteration of Call, of Call of the Valley in the 90s, um, and this is a beautiful composition of Shiv Kumar Sharma, Pandit Shiv Kumar Sharma Ji. So, Rag Kirwani.
So uh, the next piece um, and the final piece uh, is a piece from the original Call of the Valley album in, based on Rag Desh. And uh, yeah, so you'll recognize it, some of you, I'm sure.
Mac DT on dulcimer, hammer dulcimer, Aaron Hansen on tabla, and my name is Jay Gandhi. Thank you so much. Once again, we have an interview coming up okay. with Jay Gandhi, Max CT, Aaron Hansen, also known as Recalling the Valley. You just heard them um, perform. Uh, my role here is as a member of Brooklyn Raga Massive and one of the organizers of Raga's Live. Um, I'm the primary carrier out facilitator of our humanities dialogue on the topic of how do you successfully learn and perform and practice a traditional art form far from its place of origin. So uh, we'll get into a little bit of that, but first I just want to say hello to you guys and and that I really enjoyed that. I got Hi. to check in. Hi. That's Jay, that's Max. Thanks, Andrew. Hi. Hey. Um, so how did uh, Recalling the Valley form? Did you guys just magically at the same time decide to form a group or did one person in particular? Um, well, Jay... And I actually, did we meet in India? No. Yes. We met, we maybe. We yeah. met in India. Yeah. Yeah, we did. I think we did. If, yeah. we, if we remembered beforehand, then I don't, I don't, I don't remember. <laughs> but I have a memory of, uh, of meeting uh, Jay at uh, Hariji's uh, Gurukul yeah. in, in Mumbai. I was living there. That would be Hari Prasad Chasyaji. Hari Prasad Chasyaji's, uh, his school in, uh, in, in Juhu. Right, yes, Juhu? Juhu. And then um, I was living in, in Bandra at the time in Mumbai, studying with uh, uh, Guruji Panaji Shivkumar Sharma. And uh, he was playing a concert with Haraji, and I think we met there. It could have been something else, but I have a memory of that. Yeah. And then, um, and then when, you know, it's just a natural fit. You know, I, I, my instrument, the Santur or the dulcimer, uh, has a lot of percussive elements, but everything is short. You know, short sounds. There's resonance for sure, but it's very kind of like... As soon as you hit it, it's a natural decay. You don't have the ability to kind of do a long-term sustain other than just the resonance. And Bansuri, you know, it's a flute, which is, you know, can last as long as, as the breath can last. And so it's a very natural uh, combination of sounds. And so it makes sense that our gurus were so close uh, yeah. musically. And then us becoming buddies here in New York, it's like, oh, this makes a tremendous amount of sense yeah. to kind of play together. And then when we got approached for this thing, I was like, why don't we... Let's do a little shout out yeah. to the like the the big famous you know um, uh, record, Call of the Valley. Definitely. And then he also did, did Recalling the Valley. I think was the name of the second one, or Rastaro was the name of that album. Yeah, yeah. They they did it again in the nineties. The nineties. Similar iteration. And so we did a, co yeah. a combination of both of those things yeah. uh, tonight or this afternoon. Yeah. Well, we've been playing together in a lot of different contexts over the years, but this is the first time we're kind of just like a trio, like just. The and two of us and Tabla, and, and more, yeah, more t along towards that direction, yeah. Less pure yeah. was when <laughs> I bring into the, some of the, <laughs> but the different notes. I, but I, yeah, so it's really uh, exciting, you know, to work in this dialogue, you know, and with the inspiration of our gurus, you know. Yeah, excellent. Yeah. And and Aaron is Aaron is the guy you you decided to invite for this performance, or did that? Is uh, there a Aaron story that? is uh, our. We play with him a lot, and he's a very good friend and. We love playing with him, and his his guruji, hmm. Pandit Anindo Chatterjee, hmm. also played with um, our gurus a lot, of and, course, yeah. reiteration and also in the reiteration of uh, wow. this uh, call of the valley. It's poetic. Um, that's that's great. Um, so I wanted to ask. I actually got to speak with um, you guys. Probably know Ariji uh, you know, yes, well-known yes. teacher and performer in in uh, Pennsylvania and around our area. I uh, got to chat with him last night, and he suggested asking people, um, "What are the what are the ways where you 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 get your training uh, from your teachers, and how might it be different in the U.S. versus in India?" Ah, that's a good question. I I think well, this this tradition is an oral tradition, mm -hmm. and it and that's how because it's more about just information, and uh, it's more than just passing on information and what the ascending and descending scale is, all this stuff. It's it's passing on the sentiment, the essence, and so that has to happen in an oral tradition. It has to happen almost with constant contact with your guru. Mm -hmm. And the guru is different than a teacher. It's mm -hmm. uh, you know somebody who you really uh, make y a big part of your life, and you kind of try to observe everything about them mm -hmm. and their music. And yeah, um, I would like to speak to that. Um, 
I think there's no substitute for a guru, but there's also no substitute for a musical community. And learning Indian music, being in a in sangha, America, a sangha. Yeah, being a being a disciple of Indian music, living in America, it's just really important to have a group of musicians to to get into that atmosphere with. And of course, like uh, Brooklyn Raga Massive is a great example, and this WKCR festival is uh, is also a great example of how this community has come together, and that's really helped support uh, my development as a tabla player. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, of course, going to India every year has been sort of the cornerstone of my study, and I know Jay and Max also go to India pretty much every year, and um, so community is a big one. Mm -hmm. I think. Right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, go for it. Yeah, I mean, you got to drink the water, you know. Um, <laughs> I think that's important. You have to, you know, especially in this tradition, the, the I've had just as many classes in a taxi cab with Guruji than I have sitting in front of him. You know, this, this not, Guru is, you know, the translation is teacher, but it's like it's, it's, it's life coach. It's, um, it's just basically uh, somebody that's helping you out in the philosophy of how you live your life. And Indian classical music is a, one of the few forms of art that I've been able to find that, the purpose of this is this introspection, is this uh, practice of presentness. You know, it's not really about entertainment. Mm -hmm. um, that helps pay the bills. But, you know, it's really about this, this journey that we're all on individually. So uh, how are the challenges, what are the challenges you guys face? I guess you guys have the ability to travel back and forth to India. What are the challenges you face when you're away from your guru? How do you how do you um, make the best of that situation when you, maybe for months you haven't you don't and in, see it? And yeah, when, and it's a great example. I mean, Aaron touched on it briefly. That that community is really the way to do it. Mm -hmm. Is if you can't have your guru in front of you, you have the people that inspire you in front of you as well. Mm -hmm. And collectively, we can be at a guru. You know, like honestly, mm -hmm. um, you know that that's that might be a little extreme of a word to use for the collective but like if you can have a, a, a community of people supporting you and and listening and having patience and understanding and uh, and trying to grow with you then that can be a uh, that can be very helpful in your in your journey yeah um, I'd like to add this is a perfect opportunity for a plug because uh, <laughs> one of the uh, one of the things that I did er uh, about almost eight years ago to to help with my study was I created a school for my Guruji in Brooklyn, um, the Anindo Chatterjee School of Tabla, and uh, also Matra uh, is a, is sort of the Music Academy of Tabla Research by Anindo Chatterjee. Hmm. And um, bringing Guruji here and having him come here for four months every spring and summer uh, has been an amazing way for me and many Tabla players in New York to learn. So check us out online at schooloftabla.com if you're interested in tabla class in New York. And also, um, since we're in the, the plugging moment of the interview, um, next Thursday, October 26th, I'm playing with my group House of Waters um, at Rockwood Music Hall, Stage 2 in the Lower East Side, Allen and Houston. We're playing at 9 o'clock um, until 10.30, so come check that out. Um, lastly, uh, uh, Jay's guru, Hari Prasad Ji, is playing, um, is that Town Hall? No, it's 92Y. At the 92nd Street Y on November 17th, mm -hmm. um, the day after uh, the Brooklyn Raga Massive Ragala. Awesome. So let's plug the Brooklyn Raga Mass Massive Ragala very briefly. That that's on that's on it's Thursday, right? Yeah. Thursday, the 16th. November 16th. November 16th. We'll all we'll all be there. We'll all be um, really looking forward to it. Uh, look at our website. Check us out, uh, BrooklynRagaMassive.org, to find out out about that big event. It's our biggest event of the year as a as a massive. And I'm getting the signal to continue the interview. Hey. <laughs> Jay, did you have well, anything coming up that you want to mention? Um, yeah, well, I mean, I'm most excited about this uh, concert with my Guruji. Yeah. And uh, Pandit Shivankar Banerjee will be playing Tabla on awesome. November 17th. It's going to be amazing. And um, I'm sure there Will you be joining him on stage? Will uh, you be? Yes, yes, yeah. I'll be playing. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, I'm very blessed yeah. to have that. Very cool, very cool. I have a couple shows coming up. Yeah. One, uh, on the 28th of October, I'm playing with Samart Nagarkar and Josh Feinberg in, in, in Livingston, New Jersey. Mm -hmm. um, Samart will be singing, Samart is gonna be singing later Costa today. He's an amazing singer. Yeah. He's singing later today. And then also on the 28th in Yonkers, I'll be playing at the You Are So Lucky Festival with, uh, uh, and I think Max is on that too. 
So that'll be really, that'll be a great festival. Oh, Jay. One more concert coming up <laughs> next week <laughs> with uh, Ajudo Bandi with Avik Mukherjee and a uh, great sitar player and uh, who's going to be playing later this evening and Shankar Chirli here in Tabwa. Where's Wednesday that? Wednesday at uh, Kaviat in the Lower East Side. Part of the Brooklyn Raga Massive weekly. Yeah, the weekly series. Yeah. Yeah. I would just like to give a shout out to uh, David Ellenbogen, who's not conducting this interview, but uh, I've just been thinking a lot about him in preparation for this concert. He's been promoting this, uh, basically producing this festival for the last five years, and way beyond before that, he had Raga's live radio show, which was really the way that a lot of us got exposed to a lot of new Indian music uh, over the last ten years. So that uh, I just want to give a shout out to him and. Uh, you'll hear him introducing the next artist yeah. in about five. No, no, no. <laughs> we, got, we got we got more time. We gotta <laughs> we gotta keep going. Oh, oh, okay, all right. Thank you very much, everybody, for this checking in with us, and we will head to the Thanks, next Andrew. performance, which is Falu with Samir Gupta, Antabla, Arun Ramamurti, Falu Shah. Really lucky to have her join us.